Hi, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Anchor Bluetooth Soundbud Sport that I recently purchased from Amazon. Um, I saw these had come down from £30 to £20 and I thought, you know, what the hell, um, let's buy a pair. Um, the main reason for me buying them is probably different than the standard reason why you'd get a pair of these headphones. Um, normally you'd buy these if you were going to the gym or if you're running, something where you don't want your, your phone to be connected, obviously, via a physical cable. In my case, I bought it for work because I work in an office. I'm constantly getting up to go to the printer to make myself a cup of tea, um, maybe going to answer the, the door. And instead of having my phone on the table, then having to unplug myself and then go and take that walk, come back, plug myself in and carry on, I can just have a set of headphones just around my neck um, that I don't even really need to think about. So that's what brought me to buying these. Now, the reason why I chose these ones were because, obviously, I'm a big fan of Anchor. Um, they were cheap, but also as well they have, apparently, an eight hours battery life, which for me is perfect because I do an eight hour day. Um, I can see how they can do that because it is running Bluetooth 4.0, which is the low power Bluetooth, which comes in almost every piece of technology now. It saves a lot of power. Um, I think this runs with a 120 milliamp hour battery. Um, so there must be some technical wizardry to, to get that many hours out of it. Um, so I thought I'd just unbox it. This should be quite short, but just to go through what you get in the box and exactly what they look like. So here we go. So this is how it was delivered. Comes in a little white box. I do quite like Anchor's packaging. It's just very simple. Um, so on the back, it just says what it is. Um, just uh, little marks and stuff, Bluetooth mark, CE mark, uh, which version it is. And apart from that, not much. How to contact them. And then, I presume I just open it up here. Yep, the same thing we have on all of them, or oh, ripped already. Uh, Eco-friendly, frustration-free, which I must say I do find all Anchor's products to be. Um, in fact, I do have a couple more things knocking about, which I need to unwrap at some point. Um, so, hmm, that's odd. We have a little... Oh, we have a pouch. Okay, so in there. On the right side, we have a welcome guide, a happy... So this is how to contact them if you need to get in contact with them. If you're not happy with your products, yep, not happy on the other side. Um, we also have a little guide, which you don't see in a lot of things nowadays. Most things you're kind of just told to get on with it. Uh, they have different sets of buds by the looks of things. Oh yeah, these are the pieces that actually sit in your ear. So this is what actually keeps it in. So this will go in the, the top part of your ear. Um, and then it means it should sit quite snugly for if you are running around and what have you. And then it comes with different sets. I imagine that's one large and one small set of buds. Um, I do find these quite handy to have different sizes. Um, I don't know whether it's ever happened to you, but sometimes I found that the equal sizes are not right for each ear. So sometimes I swap for a smaller one or swap for a larger one because not both sides are equal. I suppose. I don't really know. Maybe I'm just weird. So that's that. So then, you also have your charging cable with a little Velcro strap, that's quite nice, nice little touch. It's the first time I've seen it on uh, one of the Anchor products, so that's quite nice. A little, is that micro USB? Um, yeah, I think so. And then we have a protective pouch with the headphones in. Wow. Seems weird seeing headphones without cable. Now these will be quite handy if um, the next iPhone that they bring out doesn't have a headphone jack, which is the kind of the way that all of these rumors are going. So on the unit itself, that's going the right way around. You got left and right, obviously, um, and then on the left one, you have a little volume up and down. So hopefully you can see that there. They're bigger than I thought. They look odd. But I suppose they'll fit right when they go in. Quite light though. I'm quite impressed with how light they are. There's, there's no weight to that whatsoever. Probably about the same kind of weight as a headphone without all of the gubbins in there. 
And then on the right side, I don't know whether you can see, but there's a tiny little hole there. So I'm presuming that is a microphone. Um, yes, and then we have a power button, which I also believe answers the phone call. Oh, and on this side as well, you've got your little jack for charging. So that's where you charge it up. So all of the electrics are nice and neat. So yeah, so that's a power button, but I think that doubles up as answering phone calls, um, which is quite cool. I'm quite impressed with that. So while I'm here, let's have a look into setting this up. Let's get rid of all the things we don't need. I'm hoping it has a little bit of power, but I don't really know. So let's see. How would I know? How would I know? Do we just turn them on? Do we have any indicators? Oh, there we go. On the back, if you can see, a little blue light flashing. So if I go into Bluetooth, straight away, Anchor Sound Bud Sport. So it's syncing away, and it just says they're connected. So let's see. So in your case, I won't be able to actually test it because of um, copyright reasons. But yes, I can confirm that they are working. So it's easy as that to set up. So in a matter of less than 60 seconds. So great, nice little piece of kit. I'm going to have to charge them up fully, see how long they last. Hopefully I get the full eight hours out of them, but I think they'll be really, really useful. And even with this little clip as well to keep the cables all neat. Well, that's really nice. Well, if you found that interesting, please leave me a like. Um, if you've got any questions about the buds, what you if you want to know anything else, oh, and I just found out they're magnetic there too. Um, if you've got any anything you want me to go through or anything you want me to try out, then please leave a comment in the description below. And you can also catch me on social media. I am at the NB Guy on Twitter. And if you just search for me on Facebook, The Northern Blogger, or facebook.com forward slash the Northern Blogger, you'll find me on there. Thank you.